Okay, let's go ahead and do our wheel. So let's get a... I'm going to make it inside this mesh item before I take it to a new one because I want to judge it next to this. So I'm going to start a new mesh item like this. Now I'm going to start my basic wheel getting my cylinder here. Like this. And I want to judge the size of this. This will be okay for now, I think. But I want to make sure it's even, so I'm going to say... 75 millimeters and 75 millimeters in the X and Y. Okay, now let's pull it out and give it some depth, of course. It's my um, cube has 24 sides in one segment. Okay, that looks okay there. Spacebar dropped the tool. I hear that in my sleep. Spacebar dropped the tool. I don't know why I say that every single time I hit the space bar. I'm assuming you all know that, but for some reason out of muscle memory or some kind of habit, I say space bar drop the tool. And I, I say that in my sleep. I hear it in my sleep. I dream about it in my sleep. I don't know what the problem is. I'm hoping it passes. Okay, anyway, sorry to ramble on there. Now we need to make us a little wheel, so let's, let's just go ahead and loop slice up through here. Symmetry count of two. It gives us a little count there, a little cuts around like that. Okay, now we're going to start beveling. So let's click the activate our bevel tool. Hit the B key, actually, then click to activate it. And let's bevel this in like this. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Like so. Then I'm going to shift click. I'm going to bevel it in some more. And push it back just a hair. Not to make it flat like that, but about like that. Just to give it a little slant. Okay? Then I'm going to shift click again, and I want to take it in like that. Then let's shift click and inset it some more. I want to say to about right there. Looks pretty good. Then I want to shift click and bring it out. Okay. And before I shift click again, I'm going to go ahead and inset it to give it kind of a cone shape there. Like that. Then then we can shift click and start insetting it again. And we'll bring it all the way down to the center here. Shift click and we'll bring us out. Like that. Okay. Now it looks like we got us a wheel, but we need to brace it up. Of course, like we have in all of our previous lessons, by using the loop slice. Let's go ahead and bevel that. Shift click and bevel it again. Now, if you hit your middle mouse button, it'll do the same size bevel over and over again, which you know can be handy. Now, what we'll do is we'll mirror this wheel over or copy and paste it to do the other side so we're just gonna make one of them there's no point in doing more than one so now it looks like we got us I don't know if it would help to run a loop slice through there or not we can see and uh, that might help a tad when it comes there I think that helps a little bit of course, we could always run. Let's see here. What else can we do? I don't know. I don't think running the loop slice through here is going to help. I think it's going to make it look bad. But let's see. What do you guys think? Is that wheel a little bit too defined there than it was the last time? Well, that looks okay for a tricycle wheel because tricycles have hard rubber wheels. They're not like rubber on a car or a normal bicycle. Okay, so now. What I'm going to do is, let's just see what happens if we mirror this instead of copying it. Because if I wanted to, I could just go to duplicate and hit my clone tool. Tell it how many I want. If I want, what if I want ten of these things? I'll make five of them. Then I'll click, and here they come. So you, there's my five wheels. The clone tool is absolutely wonderful. But that's not really what we're looking for here. What I'm looking for... 
is to mirror it. So it's in my duplicate tab also, and I can mirror that. And I'm going to want to do it in my Z. Okay. So now I clicked and bring it over. As you can see, now we have a mirrored. Mirrored wheel here. We'll bring it over. Temporarily put it into place. We'll temporarily put this one into place. And I guess we could bring them down a tad here. Now what I'm going to do is select this one, select these two here like this, bevel them in. Two times and let's do it a couple more times like that. Okay, that brings our bevel down. Now we can bridge these two. And we have our little bar there. So we need to tighten this up, of course. So stop our tool, a little polygon mode. Let's um, loop slice this sucker. I'm going to say mode free. Count one. I'm going to bring it real close to the edge there like that. That's going to help hold that a little tighter. I mean, you can make it. I don't like to make them too tight because naturally things aren't super, super sharp like that on the edges. But I guess this is supposed to be going back in. So what you can do is you can go to Vertex Map and use your Edge Weight tool, which I like to stay away from if I can. But sometimes, you know, you got to use it like that right there. How that tightened that up a whole lot better. Now, let me show you what can happen if I select this and use the edge weight tool and maybe go too far with it. You can see my geometry kind of screwing up on me. So, we don't want we want to be careful about that when we use our edge weights. It's best to tighten up geometry by adding geometry using loop slices, but sometimes um, edge weights are just the best way to go. Add a loop slice right around through there, and that tightens that up pretty good, I must say. Let's do one more. Let's get a little tighter like that. Okay. Now, now remember, we're not making this for print. This is just for a product shot or something and for fun. So I'm not going to worry about getting too detailed with the thing. You know, I'm going to cut that out with Command X. Go back to our wagon and paste it in. And just riff, roughly place it in here for now. Okay. Now we got our wheels and our seat, and we're going to move on from here in our next video and start creating. I don't know, we can do the front wheel, or we can do the body, or I don't know, we might start working on the little shaft that comes down from the middle of the seat. Or maybe we'll do the, uh, the body here, I'm not sure. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys.